What's good, y'all? your boy Ross back at it again with another video. So, I've been thinking about this for, I guess you could say, a while now. Um, who wins the men's Royal Rumble this year? Um, Royal Rumble is right around the corner, and uh, it only makes sense to kind of really dive into that i will be doing uh my preview and predictions video um so be on the lookout for that i'll probably drop that most likely probably either the day before the royal rumble or i'll drop that the day of the royal rumble early in that morning uh so be on the lookout for that video um but really the idea of who's gonna win this has really been boiled down to just two individuals and it's been like this for quite some time, especially within the community. I know the obvious one is Cody Rose. Cody Rose coming back after that just brutal injury he had uh, suffered uh, at Hell in a Cell. Well, before Hell in a Cell, the torn pec. Him coming back to be the triumphant, uh, triumphant hero to uh, overcome the odds and be the guy to uh, win the Royal Rumble and potentially dethrone Roman Reigns. That's just been the obvious choice. A lot of people have been speculating that. And even the way they've been booking these little vignettes, these video packages as of late, ever since they announced that he was going to be back for the Royal Rumble and they've had these video packages, you would think He's a clear shoe win to win the Royal Rumble because it only makes sense, right? But you have someone in Sami Zayn who people have been pitching this for quite some time now, but it seems like his momentum is gaining even more speed. It's, it's just, it's getting infectious to the point where if you've seen the, the Raw 30th anniversary, the, the crowd loves Sammy. I mean, he was just mega over. And it's been like that every city we go to when Sammy's out there, the crowd wakes up. They love to see him. You hear the Sammy Uso chants. It's, it's one of those things where you wouldn't be upset if they called an audible here and maybe had Sammy Zayn win the Royal Rumble. And then you also have to take into consideration the rumors of The Rock. And people have been speculating this for quite some time. WrestleMania is going to be in Hollywood. So it only makes sense that The Rock versus Roman happens, right? For to see who's really the head of the table, who's really the head of their tribe. And there's been reports saying that The Rock may not be able to be there, may not be able to get in enough shape um, in time for uh wrestlemania now that could just also be a way to throw people off because obviously you kind of want to surprise people there but at the same time you do want to build up to that type of match and let's be honest here bro if the rock was announced he's going to be at wrestlemania uh what would it detract from the hype i think it would increase it even more and apparently uh, WrestleMania is already sold out so it's that's neither here nor there it's not about selling tickets it's already sold out so for both nights so it's really one of those things where I don't know particularly if this is just them trying to cover it up because it doesn't make sense to cover it up if anything it would probably make more sense to kind of put that out there so people can get even more hyped up for it so I don't know but if the reports are true and The Rock is not going to be there they gotta pull an audible now the question is what do you do do you have cody rose come back and not win the royal rumble or do you have um uh, you have um sammy Zayn be the one to win it and now it caused some even more dissension between him and the bloodline and me personally i don't even know this is one of those situations that i literally couldn't tell you for the longest time i always thought that it was just going to be Cody. And I think a lot of people were okay with that. And I'm thinking, okay, well, they're going to do something with the tag team with Sammy and Kevin Owens going for the tag team titles. And then they, they could do that after Sammy gets kicked out. But as of late, I'm not so sure. Because honestly, you can, you can really switch it up and maybe have Sammy Zayn be in the Royal Rumble have him win the Royal Rumble and then have a situation where Roman's like, all right, we're going to test your loyalty for real. 
I want you to lay down for me. I want you to lay down for me in the sense of not challenging me like you. You won the Royal Rumble, lay down for me. You know, let me pin you or uh, throw away your Royal Rumble win. You know, don't try to face me and now let me know if you're really down for the bloodline. Uh, it could be something like that. Granted, we don't know. And this is what makes this so interesting for the first time in quite some time. We really don't have a clear indication of who it can actually be to win this thing. I know a lot of you guys want Sami Zayn to win it, and I am all for it. If they were to pull this audible and have Sami Zayn win the Royal Rumble, one, the crowd would lose their, they would lose their mind, and two, this would really ramp up the story between him and the bloodline, and this could really get interesting. But at the same time, Cody Rhodes coming back from that horrible injury and him winning it, and him trying to fulfill his dream of the whole reason why he even came back to WWE. I'm not going to lie. I think the crowd would be just as excited for that, in my opinion. Even though it's just the obvious choice. Because can you imagine the promos between Cody and Roman? They have history. They've gone against each other. There's, there's history here. Can you imagine that? That would be fantastic. And you can still make him the ultimate underdog because he's by himself. He doesn't have any help. He's literally by himself trying to go against an empire of people. It's going to be very difficult for him to beat Roman Reigns despite how many people are around him. So that could really be an interesting storyline. I, I don't know. And I am okay with not knowing. Like This is one of the few times where me not knowing the outcome actually does make things a little bit better and it makes me even more excited to see what's gonna have to happen at the royal rumble this year because we can get a surprise here people think it's gonna be cody i'm even still one of those people that's ultimately thinking it's gonna be cody and they could pull a swerve they could pull a, a huge audible and have Sami Zayn win it because to be honest with you i don't see anyone else in the royal rumble winning unless the rock happens to be there which once again i'm still one of those people that think the rock does not need to be in the Royal Rumble match to face Roman Reigns. It's, it's The Rock. He can say, hey, I want to face this guy. It will happen regardless. But I will say this. It's been a while since I can say someone's been that over to the point where I wouldn't be surprised if they change the main event of WrestleMania this year. I would not be surprised at all. I haven't felt anyone be this over, especially around this time period consistently for this long since daniel bryan yes movement it, he's he's the lovable underdog he's people want to cheer him people want to root for him and i it just it makes sense if the bloodline was to turn on him he becomes even higher as a baby face you know so i don't know this this is really one of those interesting situations that i'm like you know what we really don't know what's gonna happen but these are the two favorites sammy and um cody rose to win the royal rumble anyone else it just doesn't make sense so comment down below let me know i want to get y'all opinion man before the royal rumble uh comes around let me know who do y'all think is the better fit to win the royal rumble this year is it cody rose coming back from a devastating injury coming back to win the championship he never got a chance to you know to really i guess to show you know that he could get the job done finally for his father for his family or is it Sami Zayn? Sami Zayn, the the ultimate underdog the guy that no one expects to be the champion the guy that no one expects to beat roman reigns and did uh, pretty much take down the bloodline from within could it be him let me know down below man let's have that discussion i know you guys are going to really enjoy going back and forth on this one and i'm looking forward to checking your guys comments because honestly man either option is really a w for all of us man so comment down below let me know i appreciate all the love and support you guys have shown on the channel road to 150k and i am still your undisputed youtube wrestling champ of the world Appreciate y'all keeping with me. See y'all next one. Peace.